Hey everybody, I uh, got another video lesson for you. This is number 91 in your book uh, on page 18. This is the Banana Boat song. A couple things before we get started. By the way, I'm doing this on tuba. I haven't done a tuba lesson yet, so I'm doing it on tuba. A um, couple things before we get started. Take a look at your music here. You have a couple of uh, things I want to point out to you. After the first four measures, you'll notice there's a big thick double bar line like the end of the song, and it says... It looks like fine. The word is actually fine. It's Italian because, um, you know, it's a musical term. Uh, anyway, fine means the end. It's the end of the song. If you look at the end of the actual end of the music, uh, you notice that there is no solid double bar line. There's just a regular thin double bar line. And it says DC al fine at the end. DC al fine means you go back to the beginning and play until the fine. DC actually means da capo, which means the head or the beginning. So, if you're looking at your music, <clears throat> which you should be, uh, you start at the beginning, you play all the way through, go past the fourth measure, keep going to the second line, you get to the very end of the tune, and then when you get to the DC al fine, you go back to the very beginning and you play until it says fine. So that's how you do a DC al fine. There's also a couple of dynamics in there. There's the F at the beginning. It's forte. That means loud. Then there's the MF partway through after the fine. That's mezzo forte, which means medium loud. So I'm going to start nice and strong, and then I'm going to get softer uh, when we get to the, uh, the second part there. Okay. Lots of eighth notes here. So, um, you know, make sure that you uh, practice slow so that you can get all the correct rhythms. Remember, when you play eighth notes, you count using and. So like in the fifth measure, it's going to be one and two and three, four and one, two, three, four. Okay? Um, don't just play those as quarter notes or however fast you want. It's It has to be a steady beat. One of the biggest issues with a lot of the recordings that I've seen uh, from you guys is keeping a steady beat, um, you know, as you play. Always tap your foot or your toe or your, your finger or whatever. Always tap something to keep, beat, to keep the beat. If you have a metronome, use it. Um, set it on a slow setting to start, and then as you go along, you can speed up. So here we go. Here's 91, the Banana Boat song. And I'm going to start slow, and then we'll speed it up as we go along. Here we go. One, and two, and 91, Banana Boat. Mm, mm, mm. That's the end of the tune. So if you paid attention, you'll notice we started out at the beginning, we played all the way through, and then we went back to the top and then stopped at the fine. Um, a couple trouble spots that you might be having. Take a look at the first two measures after the fine. I counted them out earlier, but listen, it's one and two and three, four and one, two, three, four. Let's play those two measures together. One, two. That's the one. Um, later on, uh, one, two, three measures after that, you have the same thing, but it changes a little bit. It's like this. One and two and three, four and one and two, three. So it's just like the other one, but there's a slight difference in the second measure. So let's play those. This is... Uh, after the fine, one, two, three, four, five measures after the fine. Here we go. One, two, mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay? Now I missed the note there, but let's try that again. That's the idea. All right, let's try it one more time from the top. Do the whole thing with me. Here we go. Don't forget the dynamics. One and two. And one and two. Mm -hmm. See you next time.